Now to that huge firestorm developing after Rush Limbaugh's controversial comments on his radio show about a Georgetown student in the center of the battle over contraception and religious rights. ABC's Jake Tapper is here with this story. And Jake, this is really heating up. Good morning. Good morning, Robin. So much of politics is about framing. Is this a debate about contraception? Is it a debate about religious liberty? Or is it a debate about a talk radio giant insulting a third-year law student? For two days, Rush Limbaugh has eviscerated Sandra Fluke on the radio. What does it say about the college co-ed Susan Fluke, who goes before a congressional committee and essentially says that she must be paid to have sex? What does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? Makes her a prostitute. She wants to be paid to have sex. Fluke, a third-year law student at Georgetown, is now the flashpoint in a debate about whether employers should be required to fully cover contraception, even if they have religious objections. Fluke had been prevented from testifying by Republican Congressman Darrell Issa at this congressional hearing in mid-February. Two congresswomen even walked out of the hearing after only men testified. But last week, Fluke was back before Congress, this time speaking at an unofficial hearing held by Democrats. Without insurance coverage, contraception, as you know, can cost a woman over $3,000 during law school. For a lot of students who, like me, are on public interest scholarships, that's practically an entire summer's salary. Those comments set off the talk radio giant on Wednesday. She's having so much sex she can't afford the contraception. She wants you and me and the taxpayers to pay her to have sex. What does that make us? We're the pimps. And again on Thursday. If we're going to have to pay for this, then we want something in return, Ms. Fluke. And that would be the videos of all this sex posted online so we can see what we are getting for our money. Overnight, Fluke responded on MSNBC. I guess my reaction is what uh, the reaction that a lot of women have when they've been called these names. Initially, you're, you're stunned, but then very quickly, you're outraged because this is historically the kind of language that is used to silence women. House Democrats are seizing on this issue, asking House Speaker John Boehner, a Republican, to condemn Limbaugh's remarks. Robin? All right, Jake, thanks very much.